present, a substantial amount of Americans are reaching old age without the means to sustain themselves. According to recent data from the OECD, 23.1% of seniors live in poverty. This is the highest elderly poverty rate of any of the G7 countries. One of the proposed remedies to this crisis is for seniors to work for later into their lives. In principle, this would delay their need to withdraw from Social Security, leaving them with a larger fund to draw from when they do finally retire. A study by Manel, Orlova, and Webb from 2013 suggests that working between ages 62 and 70 could, quote, increase the share of households able to meet target replacement rates, that is, target post-retirement income as a percentage of pre-retirement earnings, by 46%. However, reality tells a different story. In their recent paper titled The Illusory Benefit of Working Longer on Retirement Financial Preparedness, Teresa Ghilarducci and her team at the Schwartz Center for Economic Policy Analysis show that working longer in practice often does not lead to a wealthier retirement. Using data from the University of Michigan's Health and Retirement Study, Ghilarducci and colleagues attempt to answer the following question. For those who are unprepared for retirement, is working later into life associated with higher income in retirement? Surprisingly, the answer is no. Those who are unprepared for retirement and work past the age of 62 often choose to claim Social Security as a supplement to their wage income. Because they do not use wage income to defer claiming, their retirement prospects tend not to improve much, if at all, if they work later into life. One might then draw the conclusion that retirees who work past 62 are making a mistake by claiming Social Security. With proper education in financial literacy, one might argue, these retirees would stop acting irrationally. They would delay their claims and retire wealthier. However, as Ghilarducci and colleagues point out, it is not so obvious that seniors are making a mistake. The data indicate that those who reach 62 and are not prepared for retirement are just scraping by. Labor markets for seniors are far poorer than economists previously anticipated. By accepting money from Social Security as a supplement to wages, lower-income seniors are better able to stay above the poverty line. The fact that they do not defer claims until 70 is not a reflection of their irrationality. It's a reflection of their quite rational material needs. The key policy implication of this paper, then, is this. Financial literacy programs are not sufficient to increase the retirement income of working seniors who are unprepared for retirement. Other solutions are required. If you'd like to read the paper that I've been discussing in this talk, it's linked in the description. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to reach out to me to discuss topics in economics or for tutoring in economics, please do so by filling out the link in the description of this video. See you in the next one.